Hi, I'm Yannick Hanfman. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudler. This is Sebastian Ofer. It's Mark Andrea Wiesler. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you're listening, listening to the Game to the Podcast. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> Novak Djokovic comes in, he steals the title, he wins the 23rd Grand Slam. He's the first guy in history to win 23 Grand Slam. Alcaraz is going to win Roland Garros this year. He wants to be the greatest player, he wants to emulate some of the big goats of the game. I think Iga's going to win Roland Garros and win it back to back, it doesn't happen often. Iga Sriantec is going to be picking up her third and in the men's Daniel Novodeau. Rude winning Roland Garros. Akhtapenko is going to get her second Roland Garros title. Boris Alcaraz is going to win the men's side. Iga Sviontek is going to uh, to win on the women's side. Daniil Medvedev and Jessica Pagula will bring home the trophy this year. Novak Djokovic clinching his 23rd. And then on the women's side, we're going to put On the women's side, been on fire, has won titles on every surface. Her name is Elena Rabakina. And on the men's, Carlos Alcaraz will win his first French Open. Novak Djokovic is the 2023 Roland Garros champion. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. It's Iga Sviantek time. That's right. She is up against Lesia Sorenko of the Ukraine. And these two, they have played each other quite a few times, I believe, now. And there's a lot of people sort of getting a bit downbeat on the whole fact that Iga and Sorenko have played each other uh, fairly recently, played each other in Rome. Iga was comfortable uh, victory there and played each other at last year's French Open. And it was also another comfortable victory there. Yeah, the French Open, 6-2-6 love. And <laughs> the most recent one, 6-2-6 love. So let's get your score predictions in the live chat now. I wonder how many of you go 6-2-6 love. Right, well, they are about to kick off, and it is Eager who's going to be serving first. I think it's going to be closer than 6-2-6 love this time. I'm going to go with 6-3-6-1. Slightly more. That's for my guess for this match. I feel that Sorenko, we can't rule out the fact that she has played very well. She absolutely battered Andreescu in the last match but I've been watching a lot of tennis today and most notably just the end just while I was just finishing work I obviously got to catch the end of Sarundalo uh yeah JG Sarundalo um unfortunately lost to Holger Luna in the super tiebreaker fantastic performance though from Sarundalo very very gritty performance he outdid himself I feel just so close to, to getting into that quarterfinal. And uh, I'm sure it'll come for him in the future, just not this time around. Holger Luna goes through. But we're not here to talk about those. There have been some good matches on today, that's for sure. Obviously, the women's one before that, we had Had Admire in a four, uh, not four set, a four-hour thriller. It wasn't four sets, obviously. And... That one, Cerebras Tormo, she just only likes playing long matches, it seems. She just consistently grinds people uh, out over long distances. Uh, but this time, she was not the victor. I feel I had Admire bottled it a little bit, trying to serve out at 5-3. But happens. Big occasion for her. She's now into a quarterfinal. Jabur went through with ease earlier on as well. Fantastic. Uh, let's get these, some of these predictions in. We've got Simon in. How are you doing, Simon? Good to see you. We've got 636Love, six, 6Love62. Six, six, We've got 6461 from Gary. Got Snail in. How are you doing, Snail? Good forehand into the corner there from Eager. Backhand into the other corner. Serenko, oh, she nearly got it in, but it was just wide. And that is, well, gets the ball rolling for. Iga Sriantec, one love. And I'm not surprised that she's taken the first game. I have to say that. 
But let's get our button out. Let's get the party started. She's had to wait a long time. She thought she was going to be on court. I think it was around about, was it about two o'clock? So she's about five hours late. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when I'm on the job. I'm a feature, I'm gonna be a job. I'm eager, I'm gonna see you. Now you can handle my heat now. Yeah, as Gary is saying here, that was a fun match to watch. A lot of strategic ball placement. Surrendalo won 11 points more than Runa. I thought, well, it's probably just due to that fourth set. I felt that Runa, he was, he knew he wasn't going to win it, and he sort of tanked the the back end of the set just to try and get to the fifth and save some energy. That's my personal opinion. I don't feel like he was really trying, if or either that or he was trying to just conserve energy because he felt his body would not last. So I saw a lot of poor shots from him in the fourth, but Solundalo pushed him all the way. Some incredible shots from Solundalo today. Uh, I feel like that he had more of a highlight reel than Holger Una, but that's not what wins tennis matches. Fantastic match. I had one eye on it whilst I was working, but now we are ready for this one. Yeah, I wouldn't have had a chance to do any work if I was covering that match. Uh, <laughs> you got Eager going into the corner there. Sorenko down the line. And Sorenko, can she do better than her last two efforts against Eager? Most notably, the, the most recent one was in Rome. Sorenko only took two games. And she's only grabbed four games in total in the last two matches. Both have been on clay. This is their third meeting and all on clay courts. So definitely advantage eager, but I feel like it would be advantage eager on probably all the surfaces, but just even more so on this one. Goes cross court there from Serenko. What strategy is she going to try and employ here today? I mean, you have to just get off first, I think. Eager's keeping her pushed back on the baseline. It's into the net there from Serenko. And it is 15.30. Hmm, that guy's got a very big camera. All right, we got Ems in. How are you doing, Ems? Saying, hey, Ben, what a crack of a match Runa Serondolo was. I think I said it would go to five. I don't know if anybody heard me say that. I think I might, may have said it on the podcast or the match, but that's the way I saw that match going. I, I thought it was a real 50-50 match going into it. The way that Sarundalo has been playing, and it's it's on his type of surface, but unfortunately he couldn't hold it together in that final breaker, and Luna goes through, probably with the more realistic opportunity of going deeper in the competition. As sad as that is to say, for uh, Sarundalo, but I feel he can get there. I feel that. We could see him in a semi-final at Roland Garros, maybe even a final at some point. We got Max in as well. How are you doing? Em's cheering on. Holger Luna means the button continues <laughs> in the competition, which we love. Good hit in here from Solenko. Moving Eager out to the backhand side. Going to have to finish her off here. Eager playing defense. And it is long. Good play there from Sorenko. She's facing break points, but she's playing attack in tennis. And you can't ask for more than that. When you're playing eager, if you play defensive, more than likely you're going to be on the uh, other side of a double bagel or something similar. Then you need to serve well. Sorenko serving here. Break point eager. Backhand into the net. I mean, it's the bottom of the net as well. So Renko's going to be disappointed. It is the break. Yeah, I mean, I've got some uh, opinions uh, after watching some of the tennis today, which I will go into very shortly. Uh, I'm sure I'll go into them in the, in the podcast probably later as well. Um, we've got Snail and saying, Ben, the strategy should be hope for a miracle because Serenko doesn't have any weapons to trouble. Eager, maybe just pace around the court or Eager already changing her trainers at the moment. And we're not even a changeover. So unless she's broken a 
I was going to say broken a string then, broken a lace or something like that. I'm not sure what's happened, but she's having to change the, the trainers. But I was watching the match earlier on. And the match was between um, Hadab Meyer and Sada Saribles Tormo. And I had it side to side with the Solundalo Holger Luna match. And I just wasn't really impressed by watching. Maybe it's just having the two side to side was leading me to be less impressed by what was going on on the other court. But it just seemed a very weak tennis match. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh because I was sort of having the comparison of the men's game to the women's game right next to each other. But I swear, Eager doesn't play like that. And she plays very attacking. She hits very big. And you get to see some some real, like, tough shots. In that match, it looked like they were just tapping the ball over the net half the time. It was very slow. The, the, the rallies were, like, the, there wasn't a lot of pace on the ball at any time in that whole match. Maybe it was just one what. Well, Sara Saribles Tormo just does to players, just drags you into those long rallies where you don't want to exert too much energy. Maybe they just played three and a three and a half hours and they were just tired and it got to that level where you were just pushing the ball around rather than actually hitting with true power. But yeah, by the end of the match, it didn't it wasn't much of a tennis match. I'll, I'll put it that way. And it was more just a battle of will. But uh, I guess it is what it is. Alexander saying Eager is elite. Yeah, that's the. Oh, she's down love 30 here. But there, there is just like, it seems like a golfing class between Eager and the rest. That's the that's the crazy thing. Watching that match earlier just sort of confirmed it for me. When I watch her, I don't see that same sort of. But then we don't ever see her. In a four-hour match, do we? She's never deep in the third set, struggling at, in a super tiebreaker or something. It's always fairly plain and simple. And she's eaten, well, she's able to conserve energy probably because of that, because of her game style. It's a lot more direct. There's a lot more winners like that one, that great backhand into the corner there. Yeah, I mean, that definitely helps her. That playing style is not uh, easy to play against. But she either hits a winner or hits an unforced error a lot of the time. Snail saying, I couldn't take my eyes off Runa Selundolo to watch any other match. Well, I sort of had them side by side, so I didn't really... I'd had one eye on it. But I felt like I had admire moment was getting to her a little bit at the end and then she she got broken then she broke back straight away it was like your classic end to a tight match Solenko there good forehand she needs to do something with one of these that's it forces Eager out wide but Eager Eager's footwork gets her really in a good position every time to be able to play an offensive shot back and that's one of the keys for her she moves around the court so well you see all of her warm-ups. She's sort of gliding around, shimmying side to side, just keeping the fast twitch muscle fibers moving because she knows she's going to need that when she's on court. And right now, that was a missed first serve. Got Alexander in the saying, are you looking forward to Rude versus Runa? Yeah, for sure. Another really tough one to call. Alexander saying, do you have a new button for Eager? I don't have a new button for Eager. Sorry. I haven't had the time, not with the, the day job, to be able to produce new buttons for everyone going through. Yeah, as Snail was saying, Ben, when I saw the score earlier, Tormo was leading by a set and a break. <sighs> it was one of those matches, mate. Gary saying, Ben, if justice prevails, we will get eager Arena on Saturday uh, with Arena bringing her best. Then we have a memorable final. Well, let's uh, let's hope that that is the case. 
because we definitely want a competitive final. There's no guarantee that that will be competitive, though, just to put that out there. There's no guarantee that Eager will be. This is a really good rally from both. Wow, and Eager won the... That was an incredible rally because Sorenko was hitting hard with Eager there for about 10 or 12 shots, and eventually it did just go into the net, but that was due to Eager with fantastic hard hitting. <laughs> Definitely the best rally of the match. And Sorenko just goes to show you can rally with a pusher around, but ultimately Eager will still be there and she will fire one last hard shot back that you may struggle to get in. Yeah, the depth of the shots from Eager was the key there. Uh, let's get her another button out. It could be a bakery product coming our way, coming soon. Eager. If you're just joining us, please make sure to hit a like on this video and subscribe to Game to Love if you are new to the channel. And uh, if you want to join the membership, go for it. It will give you special live chat features. I'll give you a special shout out. And if you want a bigger shout out, then get on our top tippers leaderboard. Oh, which way is it? That way. Uh, and if you can't get on there, send in $5 and you get any player button of your choosing. Anyone at all. You can have Holger Luna. You can have Francisco Sarandolo. You can even have Legia Serenko if you want, because she might not be able to earn her own button right now. So you might want to give her a little boost, see if we can get a more competitive match here. Good backhand there from Eager. Another, well, it's just wide from Eager this time. Yeah, Yugoslav saying best match today, Runa Solundalo. Would you say that's up there with the best match of the tournament? Or which one would you class as your favorite match so far? There's been a few candidates. There's obviously been a lot of five-set matches on the men's. Into the net there from Sorenko with the first serve. Just now saying, Ben, do you still favor Runa against Rude after such a physical match? <sighs> I'm not sure that I do, to be honest. There's something about Kasper Rude that's really impressing me at the moment. I thought he had a really tough match against Jarry today. Jerry's been in great form, but he just seemed to just get it done when it mattered. He turned it on just at the ends of the sets. He was down breaks as well. He broke back just in time to then just get to the end, the business end, and then he was the better player. Uh, and he did it in straight sets as well, which was impressive. I, I was very impressed by that. I feel that Holger Luna is going to have his work cut out in that match. And last year's finalist, who nobody seems to be talking about for some reason, don't be surprised if you see him in the final again. That's what all I'm going to say. He is playing exceedingly well and serves very, very confidently. Don't forget that. Just because he's a small guy and yet you see him, he's Mr. Nice Guy, good ground shots. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean he doesn't have a very, very solid service game. It's not the fastest. It's just very, very accurate. Serve from Serenko, just wide. Eager going for the four love here. And we're looking like another victim down the other end of the court. Obviously, Eager, she's always wearing the blue and yellow in her cap for Ukraine. And there's an amazing winner down the line from Eager. Brilliant backhand. No surprise, the crowd of sort of gone away just to sort of catch their breath after the five sets of Solundalo Runa. It's two break points eager. It's a better rally this time. Serenko cross court forehand. Eager just wide with hers. Got Cedric in. How are you doing? Good to see you. Or hear from you. 
Gary saying on Sasa pre predicted Zverev to the semis. It would be poetic justice for what happened last year. Let's see. Well, maybe the final, Gary. Do you not think he can get to the final? Is he playing well enough? That's the the question. I feel he's playing well enough to beat and, to beat who he's beaten so far, but is he at last year's level? I don't think he is, but he might just be improving as the tournament goes on, though. That's long from Serenko, and there is another break. Looks like we're heading for the bagel. Eager, ready to serve for a five-love lead. You can't believe it, can you? How often this can happen. And it, you can see why she was such a massive favourite coming into Roland Garros. Who stops Iga Sviantek? That is the big question. Because no one so far has come even remotely close. No one's even close to as good as Iga on these clay courts. Good return there from Sorenko. Just that's a good forehand and a really good drive volley in back behind Eager. And she looks a bit tired there, Sorenko. She sort of put her hands on her knees. The amount of effort she has to put in just to win a point, and to think that you have to win four of those, or maybe even more, to win one game against Eager, and that's why everybody struggles. So desperately. Eager serving here now. Good backhand from Sorenko. Eager just with that high looping, bouncing topspin and a massive inside out forehand winner. <laughs> Pick that out. Yeah, if you're just joining us, make sure you've hit a like on this video. We're up to 49. Come on. Let's get to 50. Let's get all the way up to 100. I'm relying on you lot out there to help me get there. And uh, if you really want to help us out, join the Patreon as well. There's exclusive content on there. And if you haven't watched some of our interviews yet, I mean, go and check them out as well. We interviewed Francisco Sorundolo probably a year or so ago. Go check that one out. It's a really good interview. And uh, there's an interesting line in there where he's actually talking about Holger Luna and how he sees him as sort of the next big thing on tour. And this was before Holger Luna had won the Paris Masters, won all the... So funny that he goes up against him today, takes him to five, but ultimately loses to him. Good backhand there from Sorenko. They go cross court. Drop shot, Sorenko. She comes to the net. Oh, and Eager's clipped the net cord and it's gone wide. Sorenko with some good tactics there. She rushed the net. Yeah, she sort of gave Eager less angles to hit at there. And Eager went for a sort of a crafty slice cross court. Clipped the net cord, just went wide. Eager serving now. 15.40, two break points for Sorenko. Taking her time with this. Serves out wide. Oh, I think it's just long. Yeah, just long. Second serve. Eager wearing the all-white today. Very nice outfit. Like it. Serving. Into the backhand of Sorenko. And again, down the center of the court right now. Sorenko with some good depth on her shots at the moment, but she's gone into the net with that backhand. She'll be disappointed with that. She was in the rally. Once you get in the rally, then you've got to try and strike. She doesn't want to be on the receiving end of another bagel. Three bagels in three matches against Eager. Needs to get this one. Needs to get a, a game on the board. Not as easy as it sounds. Eager serving here. Break point, though, still. It's messed up the ball toss. Have another go. Just goes again. Oh. No, nope. hits the net cord. Just goes wide there on the first serve from Eager Sviantek. 
second serve, 22 minutes in to this first set. Eager four love up, but facing break point. Second serve is in. And forehand, powerful from Eager. Well, she's got miles long with that one. And we've got a break for Lesia Serenko. She's on the board. Only fair that we should get the uh, Serenko button out, do you not think? Everybody? Yeah, let's get the uh, Lesia Serenko button out. Oh, I thought you said that. There she is, Legia Salenko. She's getting a... I'm not sure if it's a trainer or something. Hmm, I don't like the looks of this. She's having like the uh, the blood pressure taken at the moment. And she's breathing very, very uh, deeply. She sat on the chair. They've just got a couple of people over, like doctors or trainers, just having a look to see what's going on. It's not a good sign, is it? I mean, she's been playing very hard, but I'm not sure what... They're just checking to make sure her blood pressure's okay. I don't even recall seeing this on the tennis court before, but let me know if you've seen uh, anything similar, like players having their blood pressure taken just while they're courtside. But she's got a sort of... Hat. She's... I didn't notice, like, during... During one of those rallies, after the rally, she sort of had her hands on her knees. And it did seem a little bit abnormal, but she has her hands there. She looks very angry right now as well. They're just checking uh, on her left wrist as well. Eager runs off onto the court. But looks like she will continue. Not sure what's happened there. Uh, hopefully she's okay. Yeah, she's not. It's not seeming, not showing like good signs at the moment. She's got both, both elbows on both knees. Oh no, she's. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, both elbows are on both knees again, and she's just being spoken to by the doctor. I think. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. The the. The doctor or trainer has gone behind her and sort of has her, her hands locked under like where her rib cage is. Like both hands sort of either side, like on a, yeah, just on her sides, really. Just on her waist, one hand either side. She's taking some very deep breaths right now. This is uh, not a good sign. We don't want to see her go back out on court if she's going to be in danger of passing out or something like that. It's not a good sign. But hopefully she's okay. She's having a medical timeout now. It is official. Snail saying, this reminds me of uh, of Ericsson in that Euros. That was horrible. Oh, I mean, that was terrible. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's nothing to that sort of level. Uh yeah, you don't wish that upon anyone. Eager's just gone from her position on the court, and then she's just gone to sit back down again. Just to wait to see how this plays out. Obviously, there's going to be well a few minutes, like five minutes or so, so until we find out if uh, Solenko is okay. But yeah, she definitely was struggling. I'm not sure. It was after one of the really long rallies. I say really long. It's about 12 shots, but for for this match, that was really long. And I'm not sure what the problem is. She's standing up now, which is positive. Crowd are applauding a little bit just to try and give her a little bit of encouragement. Eager is going back out on court, and so is Serenko. That's good to see. 
a bit worrying though. I don't like to see that. I don't like to see people having blood pressure and stuff like that. It's now saying she was hitting the ball so well. Yeah. She's not playing badly. That's the thing. And she's just, she's just literally broken serve. So no reason for her to want to put a halt in uh, the momentum that she's just suddenly had then. Just hopefully she hasn't overexerted herself trying to get a break. That first serve's miles long. She is back on court, though. That's the key thing. But in what state? That's the problem right now. Second serve. Eager just on the baseline. And then cross court, making Solenko run. And right to the other corner. I mean, Solenko had to slide there. And then the other corner, Serenko can't. She gets there, but with no sort of power or anything. It was only able to just roll it to the net. I mean, the angles Eager was creating there, incredible. We're up to 59 likes on the video. Come on, let's get this up to 100. 41 to go. Come on, come on, let's get 41 more likes on the channel. Come on, come on, come on. Just long with the first serve. It's Max saying, Slanko's got in the game. Woohoo. That's right. Second serve. Not sure what's going on. She's she's feeling it again by the looks of it. She just had to put her hands on her knees. You can see she's really it's really affecting her. Backhand from Eager is in. Serenko with a forehand cross court. For me, I don't feel like this match is going to go the distance. Serenko's going to have to do something really dramatic. I mean, Iga's all over the court right now. And unfortunately for Serenko there, she was unable to control Iga's power. We've got your boy Cavi in saying, Hola! <laughs> Just stopping by on my way to streaming Zverev Dimi match. Smash that like button, y'all. Indeed. Yeah, I forgot what the time was. Uh, I did, I thought this would be over before that one even started. But, yeah, let me know if you've got all the buttons you require. I think you do. I think that they're all in there. I think you've got... Uh, is Dimmy in there? Dimmy might not be in there. If he's not, then just I'll add him in now. I'll add him in now. Just in case. Could he go? Good serve there. Good return from Eager. Always so deep. She loops this one up, asking Solenko to hit it. Eager just pushes it into the backhand side. Everything was just with bad intentions. And into the net, it is three break points. Eager Sviantek. I'm not sure if there's... Oh, yeah, there's a very one, isn't there? Three break points, Eager, going for a 5-1 lead here. It's Paul saying, does he have the nulle button? Essential. That's always in there, Paul. Don't you worry. If you want to hear it now, send us a super chat. We'll get it played. Serenko, big forehand. Oh, she just missed it. And that is a game to love. And it is the break for Iga Spiontek. Oh, dear. And the match is actually over. Just like that, Sorenko has retired. She looked at her box. She shook her head that she cannot continue. What terrible luck for Sorenko, who had been having a, a great tournament up until now. She had just double breadsticks Bianca Andreescu in the last round. And, I mean, you didn't think it could get any easier for Igor Sviantek at Roland Garros, but apparently it can. It gets even easier. She doesn't even have to complete the end of the match. We didn't even get a set. No, not even a set. We got a 5-1 this time. Oh, dear. But uh, make sure to all now, if you are in this stream, go over 
and join the other stream. Because the other stream is going to be Zverev versus Dimitrov. I mean, that one should be a cracker. Um, it should be better than this one, that's for sure. I mean, this one was a little bit of a uh, damp squib or squid or whatever you call it. I'm going to put the link in the live chat for everybody to join. But yeah, I mean, Eager, definitely. She would have won anyway, I think. I don't think there's any doubt that Eager was going to win that match. But <laughs> it's just sad to just be like that. We've got uh, Wojciech in saying, nice to see you and hear you. Nice to see you as well. Great to have you. And make sure to join for Eager's quarterfinal as well. That one will be coming up. She'll be fresh as a daisy, won't she? For that, that's it. Your boy in there saying, Gary, join me for Dimi Zverev. That's right. Uh, thanks, everybody who did join. Make sure you've all hit a like as well and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to just pop, pop the link for Dimitrov or Zverev v Dimi, or Simitrov, I'll call him then. Dimitrov. And that is here. Right. Let me just put that in there. Right. Okay. Join that link. I've pinned in. No, we're not pinned it. I've put it in the live chat and you will join Zverev Dimitrov. That one will be kicking off very, very soon. If you're just joining us, eager uh, through due to a retirement by uh, Lesia Sorenko, it was 5-1. It was only going one way. I mean, all she's done is saved herself maybe 20, another 25 minutes on the court. Uh, it's not doesn't seem like that much, does it? But there you go. Uh, Alexander San Iga has the psychic advantage. Well, maybe, maybe there was a bit of a psychic advantage. Who knows? <laughs> but make sure go click that link that is in the live chat. That is Zverev Dimitrov. That's the next match. Your boy Covey is going to be kicking that one off. Um, just go and join it now. We're Gary in St. M's. I don't believe being tired for the next match in a slam. And these guys will have two days off. I just want to see Steph have a chance and surprise everyone. Well, that's coming up tomorrow night. Let's talk about tonight first. And that will be coming up next. Oh, Ardell's in as well. How are you doing, sir? Good to have you in, buddy. Make sure to jump over Zverev Dimitrov. That's coming up next. Make sure. Join for it. Look, I'm going to populate the live chat now you got no choice there you go right <laughs> and i'll catch you i may even see you for a bit of that because i know covey can only stay for a couple of hours so i may jump in and finish that one off uh if it runs over so i'll probably see you in a little bit but for now yes that eager she's through to the quarterfinals again with ease not dropped a set the bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm the guy when I'm the I'm the peach. 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 I'm the